I mean, there's there's probably a DC movie in your mind that comes to mind when I say uh, uh, super edgy. If Oscar not Oscar winning uh, Suicide Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar, oh, yeah. that was cringeworthy, man. That was kind of a... Yeah. Let's not talk about that before I get too mad. Makeup right. and hairstyling. <laughs> Alright. Hi there, COS students and anybody else who's watching. This is the COS Newsroom, and we are members of the COS newspaper, and this is our podcast. I'm Evan Hightower. I am the one of the reporters and the editor of the social media department. I'm Vincent Lara. I am, uh, what do you call it, the videographer. I edit the videos. I'm pretty much the lead video guy. I'm Nicholas Gonzalez. Um, I'm the news manager, but honestly, I don't even know anymore. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'm Miguel, and I kind of know. I'm I, I'm pretty sure I'm the multimedia manager, but we'll see. <laughs> Hola, sorry, Lee. Uh, I'm a photographer, and that's about it. So is there, like, something looming that none of us really knows, like, what they're doing anymore? Or? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like, to be. What's going on there? Yeah, like, I don't know, like, the whole all over dark the place. cloud of <laughs> Things, things are kind of shaking up right now. Yeah. Well, but, I mean, I mean, it's just given, yeah. given what's happening. So it's been an awakening. Shook. So in this podcast, we're going to talk about interesting things like news and movies and video games. Basic update, Ben Carson is now the uh, official, or has been confirmed to be the... Uh, Head of Housing and Development for our country. So, congratulations to him. How do you feel about that? I just read about it this morning. Yeah, so. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty, as recording, this is actually like this is news fresh today. News. <laughs> We're and very professional. Fresh We're very professional. Obviously. <coughs> no, but honestly, I never liked Ben Carson as the head of, uh, was it Urban Development? Yeah. Urban Housing Development, something like that. Yeah. That's what it's actually called. That's, that's the official title and H-E-B. I didn't I, I wasn't for that and then just to hear like I remember when when Elizabeth Warren actually endorsed him and then just she got just like a massive backlash from the Democratic Party and everyone was just on on her case and she ma- and she made a she made a, a, a point in her response that um, Ben Carson actually submitted an eight page like proposal and that she happened to be really impressed by it. So if she's impressed by it, then maybe like it's like we'll just have to wait and see like what his plans actually are. Um, I don't know. I just kind of at this point, I just feel like he's under like underqualified. <laughs> Isn't he going on like some kind of questioning tour, trying to get some some answers to some of his questions? Um, I know that he's like what he's a doctor or brain surgeon or something ben like Carson? that. Neurosurgeon. Yeah, Neurosurgeon. there you go. Yeah. But I'm not sure what Wait, that really care. has to do with housing. But hey, what, is, what do no, I? Know? I mean, I'm just the new. You're just Nick. Deputy. housing yeah. tour. Yeah, what's yeah, no, he's he's working. Like, I think a, it's a, a questioning tour. tour. Yeah, that? questioning tour. He's just trying to elicit some some answers from the housing community, as in what he has to do. As, as, an, <laughs> as, as a as a neurosurgeon, what, what he's trying to ask the people what he's supposed to right. do. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. neurosurgeons. Yeah. More on the news. ISIS is on the run, but nobody knows about it because. Mind giving us some detail on that? Because this is news to me also. All right. Well, uh, I think as of yesterday or today, uh, the biggest news is uh, ISIS is retreating out of Mosul in Iraq. There's been a huge conflict. A lot of people out of their houses. um, Out of their countries. Out of their countries. But it Uh, looks like it's finally starting to make some actual progress. progress. Yeah, definitely. Definitely seeing, like, the end of the road, like the light at the end of the tunnel. Well, I mean... I mean, I wouldn't say we're that close yet. We've seen progress. We're, we're but s- it's like it's visible now. Like amidst all like the smoke and debris and all that, we're finally seeing like something in the distance. I'd say we're like three fourths of the way to the top, and we just got to get there to see over where where we're headed. I don't know. It's I don't know, but I feel like if it's that if if, if it's really we're making that much progress already. I mean, do we really need that fifty-four billion increase in yeah. defense spending? <laughs> exactly. Defense and like nuclear oh. weaponry. I mean, are we are we fifty-four billion dollars away from reaching that end, or are we going to be fine on? Like but the question is, is, is that is that for our war on ISIS? I mean, is that for the war on terrorism, mm-hmm. or is that for war on more? I mean, what what is the defense predicting that we're going to have to the go to war against mm-hmm. after this? Terminology is very broad, like. I think we have to be like we have to look into like the specifics 
onto what is that what the money is actually going towards, like how it's going to be budgeted. Mm-hmm. It's just like just to hear fifty four billion dollars. It's like okay, so like how much is going to to terrorism or how much is going to homeland security? I don't know. I'd have to look into that more to come up with a clear answer. But for now, I really think that money could be put somewhere more useful, like, like education, education. <laughs> yeah, or welfare. Hi, we need money. Has it been approved? Has it been Broke college yet? students? Yeah, has have, it been, has it been approved? Yeah, because I know he proposed the college students, please. Miguel? Please help. <laughs> I know that he proposed the $54 billion increase, but I'm not sure if it actually went through um, or it was passed. I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, it's... I reckon. In I terms reckon. of the whole, like, budget they already have, I feel like $53 billion isn't really that much. Isn't it like in comparison to, to what they already have? Billion? I don't know. The Oscars. Guys. Yeah, those have. Oh uh, <laughs> boy! Another tragedy. Oh, another tragedy. Mm. I mean, that heartbreak at the end was just like you could feel it just across the entire nation of like all these people, all the all the theater kids across the world just sobbed so <laughs> many tears that night. Yeah. <laughs> because that I'm not sure if that's just my cynicism, but. <coughs> I, cause I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't see any of the movies at all, period. But I genuinely, genuinely thought that La La Land was gonna take it all, like just not a clean sweep, but that's what I, I kind of, like, uh, gauge. If that's yeah. the right word for it, because like leading actress, what else did they win? Like original score. Best, uh, yeah, best. No, much. I don't know if score, but I think it was best original song. That one, yeah. Like all, like the, like the main, awards. Yeah, they seem to just win it, you know. So it was it was a pretty big upset, I'd have to say. Yeah. It, City of Stars won best original song, and you were right; it did it did win best original score. Mm-hmm. And um, I think the only other award it won was um, best actress and best director. Zootopia won best animated feature for most. Cool. Oh yeah, it was a really good movie. It was actually. a pretty, really it was pretty good. good. Yeah. Yeah. We're not affiliated with Disney, by the way. <laughs> it was just really good. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I don't know. I I feel like Kubo should have at least won best uh, visual, best achie- achievement in visual effects or something like that. Okay, yeah. Because I don't know if you know, but like a majority, like I'd say, like at least I I think like ninety percent of them at that movie is all hand posed stop animation. Which so, uh, Kubo, Kubo and the two strings. Oh. Kubo was... So if you look at if you look at the if you've seen the movie and you've seen like the kind of like the theatrics that go into like you know the ocean and the monsters and all that, mm-hmm. it looks amazing for hand posed uh, stop music animation. Is fantastic. Music is pretty good too. So I think it should have at least won visual effects, but it went to Jungle Book, and I can see why because it's this the live action kid work, working with all this like. CGI. CGI. Yeah. I mean, it looked really good, but I mean, like, in terms of, like, achievement, I'd say Kubo deserved that because the amount of time it must have taken to hand pose every single character and just animate that whole hour and a half, hour, 45 minute movie must have taken a lot of tedious, a lot of tedious effort and just all this, like, making sure every detail is down to the, like, the nitty gritty and that, like, you know, I don't know. I, I, can, I can go like for like another ten oh, minutes, no. but that's yeah. just that's my thing. That must have sucked for like the producers that they're like, damn it, like we put so much work into it. Like, I mean, it's just an award. I honestly couldn't care less about the Oscars, but I that's mean, just they opinion. don't really judge it on how much work was put into it. They judge it on the outcome. I mean, you could spend tens of million dollars more on it and still not get the award. I mean, yeah. Game of Thrones lost a lot of words to Breaking Bad, and I'm still hurt about that, but that's another story. So I shouldn't watch Game of Thrones? No, you should definitely no. watch Game of Thrones. Yeah. Why well, you it. have yet to seen it? I, I let you borrow the first two seasons. You haven't even picked them up. <laughs> that was off camera. They, they haven't yeah. moved, like... Yeah, yes. oh, I was about to say, like, just comment on like the end result of the Oscars. Oh. Uh, I pretty think much... overall it just looked disorganized. Yeah. I feel like that's pretty much it. The, the true victim... The guy that the um I I'm forgetting his last name, but he, the guy that had the envelope, and he you could tell like um, you could tell on his yeah. face that something was wrong, and he was like a warm baby. He was like a warm beady. Yeah. It's like is this and right? It's, like, it's okay. And then she's just like La La Land, and he's like like <laughs> okay, okay. right. Like, if, that were, if that were me, like on the stage, I would not be expecting her to actually read it because on the card it said Emma Stone, La La Land, and she said that I was like, oh my god, I I could feel his heart go like. Yeah, <laughs> I'm. I'm. I can. I can handle pressure. I'd probably start crying on the stage, to be honest. And a lot of people, I'm sure, were thinking Warren Beatty was trying to be like, like a jerk about it. Like the winner is kind of like wants to be a millionaire. Like, yeah. I'm sorry, you won or something like that. But um, 
I think if you're in that position, I think you would you should have like the power or like the position to be like, hey, this ain't right. Want to give me the right one? You know, like I wouldn't care if I'm honest with you. Like if I was like reading the award, I'm like, these guys give me the wrong one. You mind giving me the right one? And then you just go from there. It wouldn't be that much of like a like a like a debacle, like a, so like a circus. So fault was it? Like the accountants. accountants. The accountants. It's the accountants. Yeah. yeah. How how do you mess up that badly? It's just a matter of organization and preparedness, and uh, I, and there was not enough of either the Oscars. What if you just wanted to watch the world burn? Ooh. Or yeah, <laughs> it was Matt Damon the whole time. Gosh, Damon. <laughs> Why Matt? So uh, speaking of movies, mm-hmm. we got some interesting ones coming up. Um, Logan. Oh. That came out today, or yeah. last night technically. But yeah. We're gonna watch it. We'll be, we are we'll, gonna we'll watch be, it. We'll be coming at you with a Logan Reaction. impression video yeah. coming up pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Logan is definitely a, a, going to be a must-see for us today. Yeah. Yeah. Is that going to be the last kind of, seems of like Hugh Jackman? Hugh last, Jack I, think so. I think Hugh Jackman confirmed, but I know for sure uh, Sir Patrick Stewart confirmed that that's his last outing as uh, Professor X. But Dope. there's, there's yeah. also that little the little cameo in the trailer that we're probably going to see in the movie with the Shh. comic. It's a trailer, though. It's in the trailer, though. What yeah. is it's it? It's in the trailer, what, what, They can see what, it online. Yeah, well, it's, it's already um, out. The they, they have the X-Men comic like in the... Oh, yeah. In the movie, and because it's Fox, not Marvel, it's kind of could could mean there's like a little bit of a an agreement thing or potential yeah. for an agreement that X Men oh, and mean. Marvel can have a crossover. And or maybe Marvel is just taking the reins. Buy the rights back, Marvel. That'd be they I mean, <laughs> They'd have to buy it back for so much. Yeah, Fox they did it for, Sp- they did it for Spider-Man. Man. Spider-Man and Daredevil. and Daredevil. And Daredevil. Yeah. yeah. Oh shoot, I forget who was Daredevil with originally. Was it Dimension? Dimensional picture? I thought it was Sony. Was it? It could have been Daredevil Sony. 2003. <laughs> we have the technology. I'm not hearing much about DC, to be honest, though. It's kind of more of like just a, at a standstill. Well, I mean, we have Kyle Drogo. I'm excited for yeah, that. Yeah, man. Aquaman. Oh, I love that's me in, some Aquaman. But that's like so underrated. Oh, but that's like you know, next year, so isn't it? Excited. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, somebody agrees with I'm me. I'm excited for that. I'm excited because I think Khal Drogo is going to finally give Aquaman the appropriate attention that he needs because he's been yeah. such a like I don't know a he's a, he's a joke character. People yeah. make him a joke only because of the Super Friends. As as excited as we are, I don't think we'll be we won't be seeing him for like another two years. 2018. Yeah. October 5th, 2018. That's when the movie comes out. Mm-hmm. So okay. enough enough time for the hype oh. to build up. Yeah, we we still got Wonder Woman to. Uh, mm. There's so many conflicting reports. I'm excited reports. for that. I, I mean, mean, there's many sure. conflicting reports on Wonder Woman right now. I like her. She Mainly, there's like it. one, like like a sketchy insider saying like, oh, like this project is just all over the place, you know, as far as quality and like people trying to like get together and get this done. This year. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of. I want to say I'm skeptical because it's DC and yeah. like what I they've mean, done in the past mm-hmm. already. After the past two movies, it's also kind of hard to want to give it. It's just a, a, bad, it's a bad, bad foundation that they've laid for themselves. So yes. it's kind of like here's the deal. Uh-oh. <laughs> Marvel is like, I mean, their movies are like, it's like, oh, it's action. It's like, it's really cool. It's it's that's awesome. Mm-hmm. At the same time, they don't really take themselves that seriously. Mm-hmm. Like they, they're they're sure like include some jokes and references to kind of lighten the mood. But I think DC just goes like too much for like that edginess and yeah, that dark yeah. and that darkness. I mean, it worked for Batman. Oh, but only because they had like you know Christopher Nolan. He's like an amazing director. Oh, okay. He he was like the like head of the thing, mm-hmm. and I'm pretty sure they had a, he had a lot of like studio input and all that. But that's besides the point. Is that um, if you're gonna try to be like super dark and super edgy and like all this like intenseness, I I guess you'd call it. Then I mean you gotta pull, you gotta be able to pull it off right. Otherwise, you just look stupid. I mean there's there's probably a DC movie in your mind that comes to mind when I say uh, uh, super edgy. Oscar not Oscar winning uh, Suicide Squad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oscar, oh, yeah. that was cringe worthy, not. Well, it was kind of both. Yeah, let's not talk about that before I get too mad. Makeup right. and hairstyling. <laughs> so, uh, video games. That's a. That's Ooh a, boy. That's a good Nintendo topic. Switch came out today. I'm so excited. I'm gonna like hunt it down. Hopefully, I can get it. This is like a great day for nerds, isn't a, it? A Logan part of me, and Nintendo uh, Switch. Logan. A part of me wants Logan. to get the Switch. But then a part of me, well, the majority of me is just like, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get this. You're only getting one game. Yeah. Basically, matters. for like almost $400, if you count like the game and tax, yeah. it's like, it's not even worth it's it. It's definitely for somebody who's really just adamant about Nintendo. Yeah. Like, 
Yeah. I really am. I love it. I got the Wii U when it came out. It was amazing. I liked I'm it sorry. a lot. See, I did too, but it's like they only had like a handful <laughs> of games that were like really worth it. Yeah. I hardly ever touch my Wii U anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It misses you. <laughs> it's moved on. <laughs> it's moved on. Okay. Like, yeah, I've moved on. And then uh, I'm I'm staying away from Nintendo Switch, and I'm not touching that. It's I mean, if my if my friend has it, and I'm over at his house, and I mean, I'll play it, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy it. I think it has that's good fair. potential. I mean, it has like Zelda, and then after that, it's like, oh what, oh boy, Arms. Yeah, like, like oh, what are you gonna play? One and then two Switch. Their accessories are like eighty dollars for the Pro Controller. I think oh it's like goodness. seventy or sixty for one of the Joy Cons. It's just ridiculous. See, that money could be you saved. Wait. You could you could spend that money on something better, like you know, a good game. Yeah. Yeah. Or or, or, or rent yeah. or bills or food. You know, important <laughs> essentials. See, yeah. Priorities, am I right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. We're actually gonna look for it. So. Yeah. We'll see. we'll see. I mean, if they get Smash Bros. If it's ported anyway, I, I'm probably gonna get it. Cause let's be honest, like I am a sucker for Smash. Yeah. Bros. Smash Bros. is like. Yes. So. Oh, is that it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, so I had to dodge that one. Yeah, I saw yeah. that. It was a good dodge. High impact, high fiving. <laughs> Speaking of uh, upcoming, uh, that was just announced this week. Uh, Shadow of War coming out oh. in August. Yes. That's my birthday. That's, that's my birthday month. So I'm, I'm, you're, gonna, you're gonna treat yourself. <laughs> I might treat myself. Treat yourself. Treat How do you yourself. feel about the first uh, Shadow of Mortar? And, uh, did you like it? It was, awesome. it was a lot of fun. Yeah. I, it was probably uh, like the most fun I've had in like an action game since the Batman games. Mm-hmm. Probably because they're like pretty similar. I like way. the Nemesis system. That was really. I nice. did too, actually. Yeah. I mean, but once was... I beat the main story, I just kind of like went. Yeah, it just kind of mm-hmm. dropped off from there. Yeah. That's a shame. I, think I mean, that's generally the case when you beat. The, the main story is not a lot to go from. I mean, that's fair. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but take Fallout. I mean, I beat the main story in like pretty soon, and then there were still a ton of quests that I didn't yeah. mind going on. That yeah. I, that was fun. Like you know, like the one where you, uh, where you're with Nick Valentine, and you're hunting down Eddie Winter. But Shadow of War looks to be like a really promising like sequel. It so, looks like I so because I am a Lord of the Rings fan. Like I love like the books. I read like the Hobbit, the trilogy, but I didn't play. Shadow of Mordor, should I go back to that and then like yes. anticipate yeah. Shadow of War? I mean, yeah. I don't know it's an experience. specifically what Shadow of War is supposed to follow based on the trailer. Um, what do you think they can look sick? It, it seems to be another story, Perfect. not the same guy. Hmm. Um, they look pretty the similar. They look almost alike, yeah, like pretty similar. They have the ghost guy, whatever, the elvish, well, what, yeah, yeah, what have you. Yeah. Um, yeah. But then he's got the ring, right? This is supposed to be. That's what I was gonna like ask. It. Like, when does this take place? And like, as far as the books go, this is uh, just be oh. hold on. Okay. It's not can friendly. I'm let you know right now. Ooh. It like it take take Shadow of Mortar that like the whole universe and take the canon and Shadow of Mortar just like like oh, disregards canon oh, at a, why? completely. I don't know why, but I mean, if you if, if you can go past that, if you look at it like it's its own like little like one entity thing, yeah. thing then I'll you try. will have you will that's have a good, good time, yeah. which I'll we may try. have to do with Logan. Oh, well, that's maybe. true. Maybe, yeah. which is good for having somebody who hasn't seen all the Wolverine movies. That is true. Yeah. Um, oh, we're talking about you, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're talking about yep. definitely. Yeah, Sam and Miguel, why? I don't know. <sighs> kind of good, so, are you? Apparently, there's a new Arkham game. Speaking of Batman and the combat and all that, <laughs> there's a leak Arkham or something. Arkham Insurgency. I I'm not sure how much you guys looked it up. I looked it up. Is it Insurgency or Origins? It's Insurgency okay. by WB Montreal. No more uh, Rocksteady. I will say this looks like pretty alarming because it's by WB Mo- WB Montreal. I'm not sure how much you guys liked Origins. Oh no, that game is garbage. It's garbage. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm sorry anyone who likes Origins, but you're kidding yourself. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is... I think it's Dick Grayson still as Robin. And um, Batman and him, they're like running about Gotham and doing their whole vigilante thing. And then all of a sudden, it's the Court of Owls and also Owlman. Owlman's there. What? For those who... Yeah, exactly. Why? Because for those who don't, don't know about Owlman, he is... I think Christ is on Infinite Earths. Um, Earth Two, where it's uh, they're all villains like Ultraman, Superman, like that's his like anti Superman kind of yeah, like anti Superman. That's a yeah, good one, kind of like Zoom to Flash. Yeah, I mean, and there's like Superwoman and Owlman. That's like Batman's like evil form, like evil version, but he's in a whole other universe. So why is he all of a sudden in the Arkham universe with the Court of Owls? I mean, Owls. I mean, I guess, but that's like 
I mean, maybe you have to look at it like Shadow of Mordor. Like maybe like I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like it is Batman, but at the same time, it's Lord of the Rings too. I mean, if you can do that for Lord of the Rings, I'm pretty sure you could do that for Batman. That's oh, true. for sure. But I'd rather have canon con- consistency. Anyone would, but I mean, uh, maybe this risk might pay off. I mean, yeah. I'm 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 probably gonna pick up the game and and try it because mm. I mean I love Batman, but we'll see. Yeah, there, there's also another. I'm sorry. Let's say there's also another quick point to the whole story. I guess um, the Joker is there. I'm not sure if it's voiced by Mark Hamill. Yeah, our cameraman's like fingers crossed. Fingers, exactly, <laughs> fingers crossed. Mark Hamill, as we already established, the man. But um, and, and this one, it looks like he's helping out Batman, with like, like he's like the inside man when it comes to like vill- like villainous stuff happening in Gotham. And they're gonna try to contrive some plot way for like the Joker to be working with Batman. That's just what I got from the leak. It, it was a leak, by the way. I think it was some disgruntled WB Montreal employee is like, all right, you guys aren't being good to me. Yeah, I'm just gonna leak all of this. Well, that's gotta make you wonder: Are any of these leaks really? It, yeah, that's what I'm like, saying. Uncontrolled leaks. Yeah, are they, yeah. Are they trustworthy though? I mean, this guy could be just saying this stuff because he could have a been like some sort of like harbor against. Uh, the company yeah maybe. that's what I feel like I should have, I should have added that in but the I mean beginning. the thing you gotta remember with DC and Marvel is that for them there's separate universes there's mm-hmm. a ton of parallel universes and so any story that they go off of that isn't consistent isn't canon you can basically just assume is another universe that's I mean true. there's so much potential to go with it comic book universe as long as they don't say that it's the consistent the universe and comic books in general universe. are super flexible yeah, yeah definitely and confusing. everybody <laughs> dies much. Everyone dies. That's not a spoiler. And like, everyone comes back to life at some point. Yeah. yeah. That's just how it goes. Do you, know? you guys think there will be shark report? <laughs> shark report. <laughs> I, I, if this is, like, I would just hope so. Because, you know, as hearing from what this game is, I just... People, Maybe it'll just do, be do your bad homework. That, do your Batman <laughs> homework. Is that so hard? You know, it's Speaking stuff. of leaks. Assassin's Creed. Yes. Creed uh, leaks. Although it's just one photo, but I, I mean, I was about to put my hands. It's one in my really face low painted. quality, <laughs> grainy photo yeah. that looks like it could be like a Prince of Persia spinoff. Oh, I would rather have that honestly. It was like shot honestly. with a potato. Like I on. really think that I don't want it to be another Assassin's Creed game. I want it to be a like a separate like like you know intellectual property or something like that because. Mm. The reasons why everyone like the new Assassin's Creed games are doing badly is for one, is because they're bad in general. But two, they're they're on a platform that was set by the early Assassin's Creed games, so people have a lot of expectations, and that will only hurt the game further if it doesn't live up to that Assassin's Creed promise or potential. I think it's just also just franchise fatigue. They come out with one like every yeah. year, every other year, like Call of Duty. and Assassin's like Creed 2K15, 2K16. Yeah, they're just tired of it. I mean, mm-hmm. I know I am. I was tired of it by the second one, so I mean... People yes. are just looking for a breath of fresh air at this point. I mean, the, the mechanics, like, the mechanics that are in place are good. Like, stealth and, like, mm-hmm. you know, assassinating. Yeah. That. I like it. <laughs> but if it doesn't work haystacks. with the rest of the game, in haystacks, but if it doesn't work with the rest of the game, then... How can you just how can you just drag that whole premise and just like build it up across this whole game and just completely ruin it? I mean, Unity. Uh, just as long as you have good graphics, I think it'll be okay. I mean, is that right to say? <laughs> well, uh, Unity see, had, see Unity. Unity was good quality, but it glitched so much. And I think if they if they had the time to fix those bugs, then it wouldn't have been a problem. I feel like. But the story, though. With Assassin's Creed, they've taken quite a bit of time, though. I mean, Syndicate, whatever that was. I feel like they haven't done anything since Unity, um, or at least released anything since mm-hmm. Unity, other than Syndicate, which was kind of a... To me, it was kind of a small game. Uh, um, more important news. <gasps> more more superior news. Did, uh, is it that time? Overwatch. Oh, this is where I come in. Yes. This, this is where you come I in. Come in. <laughs> this is where Arlen just, just, like, <laughs> Arlen just slowly but surely just fades right off the camera. Do I stay out of the camera? <laughs> no, nah, you're good. You can come just in. Come you in. Can, if, if you, you want, want to be a part of this, sure. So, New Hero. What is her name? Like, or- Orisa? Orisa. Orisa. <sighs> it's certainly an uh, to be honest, potentially overpowered character. I'm oh, yeah. kind of disappointed. But she does look very OP, like yeah. very overpowered, but still, I just... Uh, there was so much yeah. hype around Doomfist, and then there, it's like, oh, it's this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Just, I mean, I'm not disappointed, but I'm not, like, mm. ec- ecstatic about it. I mean, it's a new hero. It's going to change up the gameplay. 
And uh, we need that because, uh, for one thing, Reinhardt, another thing, Bastion, yeah. another thing, Anna. I mean, I, you have those three in the meta right now, and it's just, we need something different. I feel and like it'll worsen it, because I saw this video where it's like, Reinhardt has a shield on defense, and then when his shield goes down, she puts her barrier up. And then when her barrier goes down, her, his shield just goes right back up, and it, it's... <laughs> it's yeah, because like her shield has, like, I think 900, 900 health? Yeah. 900, 900 health. That's half. That's half of. It's almost half of Reinhardt's shield. So in the amount of time the damage it takes for that shield, his shield can charge up like five hundred or six hundred. Yeah. So it's basically better than Maze Wall because you can actually shoot through it on to the enemy team. And like, eh, oof, I don't know about that. With that, this, that. with this precedent, however, lies an opportunity for Sombra to shine, because yes! hacking is the hacking is the is the, the is the name of the game now. <laughs> I really don't know. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm like, wow, words. We'll try to keep this brief as brief yeah, as possible. Pretty much for those who aren't really in the know of like Overwatch or don't really care, a new character came out that pretty much just complements the tank class. Like it gives more of a variety. You know, that's pretty much it. Yeah, essentially. Um, which does bring a suggestion that I, I thought of, and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not original, but it came to mind this morning how um, her ultimate is basically a move that powers up the rest of her teammates so that they do more 50. damage. 50%? 50%. 50%. So with that being said, um, there's you know that whole play of the game system, all that. So is it going to be um, Orisa doing her, putting down her supercharger and then just watching everyone else do damage? Or is it just going to be whoever just d takes advantage of that Cameraman that Alex damage? says no. Or he says yes to that. Whatever you just said. What which, did you say? Which brings, the question <laughs> is that I think I had the idea of thing called like team play of the games or team play of the matches mm -hmm. because like I mean you obviously we love those like solo hero uh, team wipe ults that like are super hype and all that but I mean the the actual like strategy is in team synergy mm -hmm. and how like everyone works together to just like yeah. completely demolish like you know how it's like for example like Azaria like does her graviton and everyone's held up and then Ana throws her like grenade and just antis all of them and then Nano is like a Pharah comes in from above and she does her ultimate and then like some Mercy's coming in about to res and then like McCree picks her off like that's like four people right there <laughs> so why should the play of the game only have like from Lazar's perspective or only from Ana's or only from Pharah's yeah. I mean in my mind if we had like a system where it, it cut to like different people part of the play then I think that would be like yeah. a lot more like hype the only thing is that it might be difficult for the system to like quantify that yeah. within the play of the game like to actually be aware of like oh that was great, or whatever. I mean, I realize that, but at the same time, <sighs> you at the same what time, you said. <laughs> I, I think that'd be pretty cool if that was possible. I mean, but that's just a, that's just an idea. The way I reckon it would be, um, like, if you do put um, Orisa's alt down, and like everyone just charges and just wrecks the entire team or whatever, like a team kill type of situation. I figured that play of the game would go to Orisa because that's mainly in part of her alt. Like that's the reason why, like you get a team kill for this example. You know what I it's mean? It's a big part. It's, it's all it's all it, she's bare, she's barely on the PTR right now. She's not even public yet, so mm -hmm. we'll see how it goes from here. But have you seen that damage though? Oh my god, that damage though. <laughs> that damage oh. from her whatever, That's like a mini gun, disgusting fashion look. It's respectable. The assault rifle. Thing. Yeah, it's like it has like what two hundred ammo. Because it stacks when you put it with Arissa's and uh, and Ana's ult. I think they they both yeah. stack but like twenty four. I think it was. I don't. I'm not sure, but yeah. it's crazy. So should I play Overwatch or Watch? Yes. yes. Or Game Watch Thrones. Game of Thrones. Watch Game of Thrones and play Overwatch at the same time. I want to do one, though. Well, no. Game well, I mean, I guess you could. Game of Thrones. But Game of Thrones. If you had to choose, I would say Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. I mean, you're choosing either... Alex says yeah, you know, Alex Overwatch. I'm Overwatch. Really yeah. You never even watched Game of Thrones. Yeah. Keep this in mind. You're already choosing between having no yes. life or having no life. Ah. Yeah, that makes it feel lots, a lot better, actually. I mean, and Overwatch is just better on cons or on PC anyway, so oh, okay. I'd, it's oh, like well, okay. So then, never mind then, because you know, none of us can have a PC that can run Overwatch. <laughs> In conclusion, just get a Switch. Just get a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> get a Switch. <laughs> I love that. If we take anything from this whole conversation, no one expected that PC Switch. To switch. Oh, that's <laughs> Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. I was late. Never mind. I reckon it is time to end the podcast because we have stuff to do. That's that's we're awesome. excited for Logan tonight, right? Yeah, no? I'm hungry. Oh yeah, we're hungry too. We're probably gonna hit up Quesadilla Grill. It is yeah. lunchtime. I don't yeah. know what that is. Maybe lunchtime. We'll decide off podcast. We'll decide off podcast. Where no one can hear us 
arguing and screaming at each other. About, no, we'll leave it in. About food. food. We'll leave it in. <laughs> Foodcast. All right, well. So we're the news group, and you should check oh. out the newspaper Yeah. Uh, whenever it comes out. The it, campus yeah. news. Well, I mean, we have our first one already. We have yeah. our first one out. So yeah. what, what are the, like, the handles, links, and all that? I'll put them down below. But yeah, like yeah, Facebook, yeah. Twitter, YouTube. Instagram. Do we have Instagram? Instagram, yeah, we got Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, the website. YouTube. Man, YouTube. you're excited. <laughs> Hit yeah. that subscribe button. Yeah. Let's Smash go that for like. 50,000 likes. I want to see 500,000 <laughs> likes. And, but, I mean, if, nice. if you want to. We're going to get like There's only, there's only 3,000 students on this campus. That's we'll make so sure. shooting big. So what? We'll blow 3, 000? up. 3,000? Really? That's yeah, we'll go there's... viral. All right. I'm Keep your eye on Twitter for suggested topics for yes. these things. The Keep podcasts. Going. There right. will be more of these. Yeah, and you can tell us what to talk about. We're here for you guys. So That's true. We yeah. serve you, just not food. See ya. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. Yeah. Have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. That was Peace. weird. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey. What's that, that pre Logan hype? Oh, yeah. Hyped. <laughs> We're just waiting on Arlen and we out here. Evan and Vincent. Pretty much everyone. Everyone else is late. Oh, here we go. Alright, we just finished Logan. Um, what you think? One word, powerful. But, oh, but, uh, <laughs> so much for one word. watch it in a good theater. You know, like actual like quality. You know, reclining seats and all, like all the whole shebang. But powerful. How are you, Nick? Aside from a few minor details, it was literally The Last of Us. It was very raw, very <laughs> uncut. I liked it. I feel like it really went with the uh, audience. Like it matured with the audience. And yeah, it was dope. I haven't felt this emotional since the Red Wedding, and that's saying something. Ooh. <laughs> all right, Arlen. It was amazing. I've never seen any of the Wolverine movies, but this one was... Like, I've wanted to watch all the Wolverine movies, but, like, I know he... Nah, I'm not going to say what happens in the end, sorry. <laughs> Anything else? There's a yeah. lot, but... Yeah. Everybody Don't. Knows. We approve this Close. message for us. Right, get around. <laughs> yeah, go. We no. I mean, like... Uh, it, it, canvas proofs, proof man. I'm not sure how it looks. Yeah, proof, right? Yeah. How many thumbs up? I don't even up? know if we were in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right.